Right, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, a salutation to the Akim, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. I was watching a video with Apostle Taha, and he said to read Jude 1 and 7. Yeah, because this is the nigger scripture, man, basically. This is the guys that were, 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 were fell out, become big headed, thought they knew what was best. You know, so I'm going to play it, listen to it, and then I'll go into a little lesson. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ, and called. Mercy unto you, and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you, and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God, and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things, which they know not, but what they know naturally, as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them! For they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feasts of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves, without fear, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees, whose fruit with a wreath, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints, to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurs, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration, because of advantage. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Right. So that's the end of uh, Jude, yeah? So, um, I'll go into a little um, a lesson. So, that's it basically, yeah? So, um, I like to say, all praises to Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Akin pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Staying on the subject of um, Jude uh, one, uh, the Jude the first chapter, because it's one long chapter in it, and um, Apostle Tahar said he, he, he recommend you read it, because basically it's about uh, guys will come in and that nigger spirit befalls them, okay? And there's plenty of examples when niggerism befalled uh, so-called men in the church, okay? I've seen it. I've been in the truth. Um, eight, nine, going on ten years now, yeah, and I've seen guys come and they go, okay, and that nigger spirit, some of them are even camp leaders, yeah, and they dwindled, you know, they started led men, but they were going off, okay, 
and then the, the Lord just sucked the spirit from them okay I've seen guys come in they 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 they've been told to do their bit but they want to uh, 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 basically uh, 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 um, come in and do other oh yes I think we should do this and that instead of holding your peace okay you ain't been in this thing long enough to be uh, uh, someone to say oh well, I think we should do this and do that you know and then they 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 get that reprobate spirit man and they start lying to brothers yeah they start uh, 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 going off you know doing shit they're not supposed to uh, to do and they end up where do they end up getting kicked out or falling out okay or even leaving and and then, and then blaming other brothers so that's that 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 same spirit man that that reprobate that same uh let's get it uh you know uh, that same jude spirit it says here um uh, for there uh for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before the old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of Yahweh Shimiyasha into lasciviousness and denying the, the only Lord God Yahweh Shimiyasha and our Lord Yahweh yeah I will therefore put you in remembrance though you know the Lord is having saved people out of Egypt yeah and it says here uh, likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh despise dominion speak evil of dignities okay yeah you're supposed to uh, ring brothers every day and make sure blah 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 where do you say that in the scriptures okay then you start saying you try to, to, to put it on brothers that oh yeah you're not being brotherly no bruv you're going off you're being the devil and it says it when contending with the devil he disputed he disputed about the body of Moses and bring forth an, that's like a um, who was that I uh, can't remember who that was mm. anyway it says it likewise the filthy um, bring against railings accusation there it is not bring against him railing accusation but said the Lord rebuked thee that's brothers that's guys was going off they bring accusations okay and they speak evil of those things which they know not but what they know naturally as brute beasts and that brute beast spirit come back on them and those things they corrupt themselves so they corrupt themselves by by not keeping order and the main thing is order they don't know nothing about order right you might know to speak a bit Hebrew, a few scriptures, but you, the the main thing that you're not considering is order. Okay, so let's go back into um. I'm gonna show you a, um an example of of a um a reprobate named Alexander. Okay, and it says here who was Alexander and he had Demas. I called him nigger Demas because. I've heard of the righteous Pharisee Nicodemus, but this guy was Demas, and he was a nigger. So I, I, I anointed him nigger Demas. You can find him in the book. Uh, 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 he was uh, in Paul's ministry. Just type in Demas uh, in the Bible, and you can read about that nigger. This one's another nigger named Alexander. Okay, Alexander the coppersmith. Okay, we're gonna read about him. Who was Alexander the coppersmith in the Bible? It says here. Who was Alexander the coppersmith in the Bible? Alexander the coppersmith in the Bible was a man who did significant harm to Paul's ministry. Okay, so you're going to have niggers, right? We're coming this truth, yeah? And they do harm. You know why? Because they can't keep their asses still, man. All they've got to do is sit down and shut the hell up, man. And do what you're told. You know what I mean? And it says here, Alexander the coppersmith in the Bible was a man who did significant harm to Paul's ministry. Let's click on that. Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, don't really want to click on that. We'll leave that to the last. And it said, the word coppersmith is translated from the Greek word chokius, which means brazier, or a worker of metals. Okay? Like blacksmith. Okay? You've got a blacksmith, coppersmith, 
they 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 fashion they heat up metals and fashion it to what you want okay workers of metals um it's the n i v translation metal worker e v s king james and all that's all the bibles there yeah the translations it has it have it has coppersmith yeah that's basically what it means okay coppersmith yeah Oh, um, and then I'll be translated as metal worker, yeah, coppersmith. Some scholars believe this Alex is Alexander the coppersmith to be the same Alexander mentioned in the two other places um, in Scripture. Acts 19:33. Some of the crowd prompted Alexander, whom the Jews had put forward, and Alexander, monitoring with his hand, um, wanted to make a defence of the crowd. Okay, and it says here in Timothy's uh first Timothy's one and twenty. And it says, Among whom are Hymenus and Alexander, who I have handed over to Satan that they may learn not to blaspheme. So Paul he he, he um he's sick, basically went to sick Satan on him, man. On niggers, you know what I mean? But well, I ain't gonna go that far, cause I, I, me personally, I let the Lord deal with all things. You understand? Cause if a man, I kept telling a brother in the camp, if a man ain't right, he will be revealed. Just let it play out, man. You know what I mean? Don't be too fast to jump. You know what I mean? Let the Lord deal with it, man. He deals with it best. You know what I mean? Cause you can hide it from men, but you can't hide it from the Most High. You can't hide it from Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Okay? You ain't right. You ain't right. Okay? Although we cannot be sure, since Alexander was a common was was a common name, okay. And it says, the first possible mention of Alexander the coppersmith occurs in the book of Acts during his travels from Asia. Paul encountered some Greeks who were opposed to his preaching because it was damaging their business, niggers, yeah damaging our business they never they, they didn't want to hear about how by shimmy i was shy they was worried about that filthy lucre okay demetrius was a silversmith in Ephesus, in ephesus ephesus who made the silver shrine to artemis uh, artemis that's a greek uh, woman god and thing and he had turned uh and and he in turn gave business to many other um, workmen in the area as the church of Ephesus grew sales of idolatrous shrines fell Demetrius got the got the guild of the tradesmen together and stirred them up you know my friends that we receive a good income from this business and you see and hear how this fellow Paul has convinced and led astray large numbers of people here in Ephesus see they talk about led, leading astray did not Paul say be ye followers of me like I am of Yahweh Shai so Paul was a follower of Yahweh Shai but these demons yeah yeah were calling Paul were saying that Paul was leading the people astray when he was bringing them to the light okay this is niggers okay and in particular the whole province of Asia he says that gods made by human hands are no gods or to or at all it's true because you can't make the halbashim with human hands okay they're idols okay there is danger not only that our trade will lose its good name talking about they want you know to, to uh, lay not your treasures up on on the earth lay up in heaven where it doesn't rust okay maybe they weren't reading the scriptures but also that the temple of the great goddess Artemis will be discredited see because our people still today are worshipping gods of the nations man and it says and goddesses okay mainly goddesses in this site because Esau's a faggot he lo he's a woman worshipper everything is about the woman I want a woman deacon I want a woman racing driver uh, I want a woman pastor yeah I'm a woman fireman, a woman constable, you know. She's a cunt, but let's leave this to Boo alone, okay? And the goddess herself, who is worshipped throughout the province of Asia and the world, 
as a regurgitated goddesses, you know. Over here we Dina, you know, as a goddess was regurgitated, you know, um Persepone, yeah. And I got a book with a Greek with Greek gods in it and goddesses. Mainly the mainly of them are women. Yeah? Because Esau man, that devil and I will be robbed of her divine majesty. And this is what our people were saying. Acts uh I'll I'll leave that one because it's out of the I'll read it anyway. It says it Acts uh twenty five, nineteen twenty five and it says these have gathered together which is the workmen in similar, similar trades and said men you know that from this business we have our wealth and you see and hear that not only in Ephesus, Ephesus but in almost all of Asia this Paul has persuaded and turned away a great many people saying yeah follow follow Yahweh Shai yes during the the ensuing riot Alexander was pushed towards pushed forwards to make a statement to the crowd since he was a Jew see yeah, he was a Jew ok going off however the mob refused to listen to him right it was possible that this Alexander was Alexander the coppersmith and that being associated with the church and being a metal worker himself he was chosen to try and make peace in Ephesus ok another possible mention of Alexander the coppersmith is in Timothy's 1 and 20 when Paul said he gave him over as Paul writes to Timothy in Ephesians Ephesus Ephesus, Ephesus Paul says to Alexander reject Paul's, Paul says that Alexander rejected his faith and conscience and that Alexander and another man named Hymenus have been handed over to Satan to be taught not to blaspheme ok so that means they've got demons on them yeah they, 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 they probably think that's still in the truth yeah but they, they, they've been given strong delusion ok Alexander who had obviously professed faith in Yahweh Shai at one point had shipwrecked his faith yeah so that means he turned back shipwrecked you know what I mean on the rocks finished that this he veered off course he took that 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 broad that broad way you know this truth is a narrow path he took the broad way you know what leadeth to destruction on the rocks shipwrecked yeah shipwrecked that's how he got and it says away from good teaching okay and drifted into dangerous rocks of false teaching okay because some people are coming with their doctrines man you know doing stuff they're not supposed to do well what great millstone don't do you know we don't do certain things but people want to uh, 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 um, start doing their own you know when the elders have already laid the foundation so why veer off because you end up on the rock shipwreck man that's what happened and he had refused to follow the dictates of his conscience he was walking according to the flesh and not the spirit beautiful see Romans 8 and, and it says for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit for to set the mind on the flesh is death beautiful and to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace okay beautiful claiming the name of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach while behaving like an unbeliever okay because you've got guys going like there you know, uh, Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai double honors to the apostles and the elders and the niggers okay as a result Paul had pronounced an apostolic curse upon Alexander because certain brothers you know he put curses on as well man it, there's no there's, it, that, there's no it didn't say he, he, he resisted and, and hugged them and and, 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 and and accepted no he put curses on Alexander man Paul and that you know what I mean put an apostolic curse on him ok but me I don't do stuff like that because 
me personally, I know the law gonna deal with man. If they're off, he gonna deal with them, and hopefully he allows me to to get my say as well with the sword. Okay, I don't want to do too much talking, Lord willing. I'll be uh, let the sword, yeah, the double-edged sword, do the talking. Okay, allowing Satan to destroy or harm the man, so that his soul might still be saved. Okay right so because he you know remember he said those that can destroy the 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 body but not the soul yeah how was shy how about him how was shy can destroy both soul and body okay first corinthians 5 and 5 and it says ye are to deliver this man to satan for destruction of the flesh so that his spirit may be saved in the day of the lord beautiful see so he wished death on him, but not uh, uh, not to destroy the spirit. You see? And it says, read on, it says, in, in Paul's second and last letter to Timothy, we find the only direct mention of Alexander the coppersmith. Paul says, Alexander the coppersmith did, a great, did me great harm. Alexander the coppersmith did me great harm the Lord will repay him according to his deeds okay Alexander the coppersmith did me great harm and the Lord will repay him will repay him according to his deeds okay I'll say that one more time Alexander the coppersmith did me great harm and the Lord will repay him according to his deeds okay right let's move on Paul does not mention any details any details about the harm Alex did only it was great notably Paul did not seek personal revenge okay instead he wisely turned the matter over to the justice of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Beautiful. Did I not say I will repay evil? Wait for the Lord and he will deliver you. Okay? For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. Okay? Beautiful. Is Alexander. Is Alexander the coppersmith mentioned in Second Timothy? The same Alexander who Paul mentioned in the First Timothy, or is Paul specifically specifying of one Alexander as the coppersmith, meant to refer to a different person? No one can be certain. If it is the same Alexander, and if he is also linked to Acts 19, then the, then his history would be something like this Alexander was an influential Jewish metal worker in Ephesus when the missionaries came to town Alexander the Coffersmith got to know them and was seemingly open to the gospel when the unrest broke out over Artemis cells Alexander was chosen as a neutral as a natural liaison between the silversmiths and the target of the air, the air. Later, Alexander showed his true colors in the church, and it became apparent that he and Hymenus were living for themselves, not for a Mashiach. Paul warned Timothy, who was pastoring in Ephesus, about the situation. Later still, imprisoned in Rome, Paul rules the fact that Alexander the coppersmith had continued to damage the cause of a Mashiach and had become a personal enemy possibly Alexander had used his influence and financial standing to prejudice the Roman authorities against Paul whatever the case the Lord will repay him for what he has done and we read that yeah second Timothy's Alexander the coppersmith did me great harm the Lord will repay him according to his deeds so sometimes that's what you gotta do man let the nigger alone man the Lord going to deal with them man the ones that ain't right the ones that lie to brothers the ones that step out of line okay 
the ones what 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 can't take rebuke okay because they talk about oh rebuke and rebuke and order and order when order comes down they they're missing they go they disappear because they think they're above rebuke and they think that the Lord is only dealing with he is dealing with you okay but he's dealing in a way where he wants to put you to death man and if you don't repent yeah and if you don't turn back yeah and come out of that 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 wicked and that evil spirit yeah but some people ain't gonna do it because they're very proud man you know they'll tell you that yeah I'm a spiritual man I'm about this yeah but really they got demons on them man anyway I'm gonna leave it at that yeah that's an example right you got Alexander the coppersmith and you got Demas okay look up Demas okay I've done a, a, I've done a, a, a video on Demas as well these are niggers in Paul's ministry okay so I'm going to leave it at that like I say all praises to you by Shimmy Awashai double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutation to the Akim pushing this word in truth and sincerity Kwam Yasharala